Movies are great. I think I should watch one. I did watch one. I'm Pete T, the host of this show, this greatest show on this channel, particularly the longest lasting show on this channel, which is actually quite impressive. Not really, because I've kept this alive through sheer force of will, you see. And so I've done my absolute best to keep it going. And now let's talk about Casablanca. Because I've decided today I am going to talk film. I am a film student after all. I might as well talk film in the kind of films they show us in film school. They show us the greats. They've showed us Wizard of Oz, which watching Wizard of Oz was basically like, whoa, whoa, whoa. she said the thing. She said the thing. Whoa, she said the other thing. She said that other thing. Whoa. All these lines are memorable because they're rehashed for us in several other forms of, of, of media. And because of that, um, we know these lines. And when you watch the movies, you know, it just kind of, it's like, Oh, another film that we watch a film, which I found most kind of interesting, not really most kind of interesting, but one, which I will talk about today. Casablanca, the black and white film came out in 1940. Two, just before America Gun Evolved was when the movie came out. And understanding the historical context gives us a better understanding of what the film was trying to accomplish. Interesting fact I've learned about the film, there's only actually two American actors and, um, in Casablanca, and that is Rick and Sam. Those are the only American actors in Casablanca. The rest are European actors film is basically an allegory for World War II as seen from the perspective of the people at the time. It's not a secret message in the movie. It's just blatant. Um, you see, first off, you see a lot of different nationalities in Rick's Cafe. You see a lot of people just discussing, plotting, planning, scheming, and all that. And you see every single player in World War II, every single one of them is present in Rick's Cafe. You see people from France, you see people from England, uh, you see people from uh, Italy, you see people from Germany, you see German soldiers outright, and you see some Japanese people, and then you have Rick. Rick's an American. Rick doesn't want to get involved. To some degree, though, the scene somewhat contradicts that a little bit because there's um, a lot of people that which work for him, work in his cafe, that are actually said to be refugees, people who are fleeing Europe. And then as far as Rick's neutral status, neutral, he's neutral. He doesn't get involved. You stay out of these issues. Well, you've gotten involved very much before you haven't been neutral before you ran guns in Spain, you know, and all of that. They talk about that. It's like, basically you are not really a neutral person. You're just acting neutral here. Why are you pretending to be this neutral? person. There is the love story, which I consider kind of a B plot. Like it's not really the main plot. It's not really even the most significant part of the story. At the end of the, of the movie, he doesn't get the girl because that's not the point. The point is he got involved. Casablanca to some degree is saying America can't stay out of the war. It's a call to fight do what is right fight it's a classical film but it's also a film that was released at a critical juncture in american history in world history it had a message for the people at the time today we could look back and see that and they probably saw it back then too but at the same time it's a decent film it, it stands the test of time like wizard of oz it also has he said the line, he said the line. It's a famous line and it's been rehashed in multiple media over and over and over again. So we all know it regardless of whether we have seen the film. That's all I have. Thank you for watching. And please excuse me while I fade away gradually until coming to an end. I'll get you my pretty and your little dog too. You disagree? Well, it's my show. I can say what I want.